Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can make our own pipes in Angular or either you can say that how we can make custom pipes in Angular. But before that you should know about pipes. So if you have basic idea about pipes then that's great. But if you don't have any idea about pipes then I'll recommend you to watch previous part there I explained each and everything about pipes in detail. Alright. So here first we will discuss uh, why we need custom pipes then we will run command to make custom pipe after that we have to add some code we will learn how we can uh, add params also and at last we'll discuss some important interview questions this is the playlist for angular 19 tutorials that will definitely help you out for angular job project and interviews and you can access this playlist from description box of this part great so let's talk about first question why we need custom pipes we know that pipes we basically use to transform the data uh, in the template file or in the html file right uh, for example if you want to show some result in the capital letters all capital letters then you can use uppercase uh, um, pipe otherwise if you want to modify the date then you can use date pipe if you want to show the currency icon then you can use the currency uh, pipe right but let's say if you need a pipe which is not available in the angular then what you will do then definitely you have to make a custom pipe for example i want to make a currency converter in the angular yeah, definitely you can make a function in the angular and that can also help you out to convert the value from the currency right but how we can do it with the help of pipe right and for that we have to make a custom pipe all right so now let's move to the code and uh, open terminal there you need to run a command ng generate then uh, pipe and uh, the folder name where you want to store your pipe if you will not put the folder name then it will directly go to the app folder only so let me put their pipe and let's say my pipe name is currency converter currency converter mm, let me put their hyphen i think that should work or either we can just use capital letter yeah that should work let me hit enter and now you can see that we have a folder with the name of pipe and inside this we have a currency converter and what name you have to keep when you will use this pipe this is the here this name you have to use all right so right now you can see that in app.component.ts we have a one property okay let me close this uh, terminal we have one property with the name of amount right so let me use it on the uh, you can see that html page right then uh, h2 and there you can simply use this amount and definitely you can see that the output is visible on the ui now to use this currency converter first you have to import it in the uh, ts file or component file you can see that so let me put there currency converter pipe right and after that use this uh, name after pipe like this now the first impression there will be no result at all uh, okay this is visible i'm very sure this data is coming from the uh, you can see that cache so let me close it once and run it again yeah now you can see that there is no result at all reason uh, why that was coming from the cache because before making this video i was preparing for that and that time i cre uh, create the same uh, you can say that pipe and that result was coming from there right so there we just use the amount and the name of pipe and why this is not showing anything because if you just go to this file you can see that this is returning a null value here okay so how we can return something just use any value let me put there uh, one only then you will see we are getting there one and if we will return their value so the value is the actual value whatever we are using there so it will return the same value whatever we are passing so let's say in amount if we have 20 then it will, it will uh, return the same thing great but now what do we want we want to make a currency converter so let's say uh, we want to convert in the rupees this is you can see that uh, maybe by default uh, usd dollar right uh, american dollar then how we can do that 
so simply you can multiply it with the any value so right now uh, the conversion rate rate is uh, 85 per dollar uh, for the rupees and that will work but if we are just trying to multiply this it will say that this is unknown value the type of this is unknown then if we just put their number then it should work right and now you will see here we got the value so if i just put this simply 10 you will find that 850 this is how uh, working right okay but now let's say we don't want to convert it in the specific value so let's say you want to you uh, you want to convert it with the yuan so inr to chinese yen right so here you can see that one is uh, one yen equal to 12 uh, uh, rupees you can say that right so we want to multiply it by 12 then how you can do that for that thing we have to pass a parameter you can say that so let me pass a parameter there so first one is dollar right then let me put there usd to inr and there i'm putting yen to inr right so here you can see that right now the, the value is same or either uh, that's better if you can just put it inside only like this right this is looking much better okay so now i just want to pass their 12 only right but if i just pass their 12 right now this is working fine but how i can get this 12 value there so that will be come in the arguments right so if i just console this you will find that this value is coming as a uh, array 12 here you can see that so i want to get this value so you can what you can do let or cons maybe you can use data but before that i want to check one condition if argument dot length that means if there is some value is greater than zero then what it should be it should return value into data and what is the data there let me make a constant data equal to yeah so it will be get the first value from the argument right and now the number is also unknown so uh, argument is also unknown so let's convert it in the number only right okay so now you can see that above is uh, 805 and uh, lower one is 120 right but let me make their uh, else condition if you want to make otherwise that will work for else only but let's say just you want to make, make like this now this is uh, can, uh, the above value will go to the else condition and if you are passing some parameter like this then it will go to the first one all right so let's say just we just want to convert in the euro so inr to euro you can say that then let me put there one 89 something right so let me put there 89 and then uh, 0 to INR. U R O. Right. Uh, yep. And now you can see that we got this value. So this is how we can make a custom pipe or your own pipe in Angular and how it could work. So in interviews, they can pass, they can ask like what is custom pipe? command they can ask how we can pass a parameter with the custom pipe these things can be asked all right so this is my paytm or gpay number if you want to donate something and this is please like this video subscribe this channel and you can uh, uh, give your feedback in the comment section thanks everyone